Hi guys, welcome back. Wow, look at me actually making YouTube videos. So for those of you who don't know, I actually love fashion. Even though I basically wear this same green flannel in all of my TikToks, my fits they're kind of basic to be honest, like they're really nothing to write home about. I don't think I have that great of a sense of style, but I do have some great thrifted pieces to show you guys. So let's get into it. Also, the reason why I'm wearing this wrist brace is because I think I'm getting carpal tunnel from my job. So the first piece that I want to show you guys is this cute blouse top thing over here. Um, it's from Shein. Now I don't buy Shein from like the website like I don't go and buy like Shein new but if I see something I like in the thrift store or at Plato's Closet and it's from Shein I will normally buy it because like someone already bought it off the website and didn't want it anymore and donated it so if it's at the thrift store I will buy Shein and I like the sleeves I like that it's cropped it's got the little like lettuce hem going on here I feel like having a nice generic white top or blouse can go with like any outfit and yeah I'm trying to find more nice generic white blouses but I haven't had any luck so this very cute black blouse I love like the little puffy sleeves it has going on here it's cropped and I love this little detail like the ruffling here on the bottom I think this is a really cute like date night top not like I'm going out impressing boys or girls or anything out there when I'm in the club. Um, but if that is your vibe, this is a great top. The next piece I got is very much, very much a summer outfit. It doesn't look like a lot of fabric here, but in the try-on clip you can see it actually covers the chest region pretty well. This was $3 and I don't know what brand this is, but yeah, I also kind of just bought it because my toxic trait is seeing things in the store and thinking, oh yeah, I could sew that. So I bought this so that I could kind of use it as a pattern so I can make this top um, my own way, like different times with like a different fabric. So that's also why I bought it, you know, multi purpose here. The next top I got, I'm very, very happy with. It's this like satin sage green button up blouse. I think this is from H&M and this was $8. It is just so nice. I'm very happy with this. And it was only $8. So the next top that I thrifted, this was $10 and it's from this brand called Widow. And it's just like this really cute like jacket thing very much Wednesday Adams vibes and it's like this velvety fabric and I like this button detail at the neckline and I also love these huge sleeves I went to emo night with my friend back in February and I wore this and I was like yeah this was a good purchase I don't see me wearing this in like a casual or work or like any setting other than like a special occasion where it's like emo night or Halloween but I don't know maybe I can use it in like my next movie or something and of course I live in Hawaii so I always check the Hawaiian shirt section for like things that I can find this is like just a really basic one it's really not special from Old Navy I think it was like eight dollars i can always go for a good hawaiian shirt to wear to work this one i didn't buy so i don't know how much it was it was um gifted to me from a friend but she thrifted it so i decided to include it in this this is a zig zane shirt um and i really like the blue like the color of blue that it is and i like all of the details on here it's just like a nice way to add like some color to my wardrobe so I do really like this shirt. Okay, that's all for my tops. Let's get into let's get into the bottoms. So of course, because we're entering a recession, I had to get some midi slash long length skirts. This one is from H and M, and it's just like this really long black skirt. It only goes to like a certain amount. Like this is like there's this huge slit in the skirt. Um, so I don't 
wear it all that much because it kind of shows a lot of my legs and I'm very insecure about my legs so um, but it does have pockets which was another reason why I bought it and this was only $13. This skirt is also very very cute. I think this was $13 and it's from Volcom. Um, it's another mini skirt. I'm trying to add more color to my wardrobe so I like that this is just like a really like nice like teal color and I like all the flower details on it. Um, this one unfortunately doesn't have pockets but it's fine. It was also a little big on me when I first bought it so I had to like take in and sew the inside a little bit so that it did fit me. Very good for work or just for going out and running errands. This skirt is very, very short. It's from American Apparel. I think this was like $6, which is why I bought it. And also like it fit me perfectly without me having to do any alterations. I do like this skirt. It is a little short for my taste. So I normally only wear it like when I'm out with other people, like my other friends, because I really don't need to be like going out to the mall and some guy like touches my butt while I'm wearing this skirt or someone tries to take a picture of my butt while I'm wearing this skirt. Um, which is unfortunate that I have to worry about that because this is like a really cute skirt and I would love to wear it out more often, but I just don't because I am afraid of men. Uh, and then the last of my thrifted skirts is this one from Brandy Melville. It's the little like Kara skirt. I've always wanted one of these skirts ever since they first became popular in like 2019, 2020, but I just never bought one because I have this thing where I see things I want and I don't buy it. It, it literally takes me years to purchase anything. It was in my size and it was only like $6, so I bought it and I'm very happy and I'm very excited to wear it. Okay, and then I also thrifted this dress which was originally from Uniqlo. I think this one was only five dollars. Like it's a pretty basic style. Another like midi length skirt going on here because again recession era. This is a very like versatile dress where I can wear it to work or I could wear it on the weekends when I'm going out with friends or running errands. And lastly this isn't this isn't a dress. It's more like a jumpsuit one piece action going on here. But it's very, very cute, and it's from Forever 21, haha. <laughs> this was $12, and I love just everything about it. My legs look very long. I love the dark green color of the fabric, and everything about it is just so lovely, except for the fact that it does not have pockets. It's still very cute, like I usually only wear it on like special occasions like if i have a concert to go to like a special event for work that i need to attend it looks very like chic and night out-esque without being too over the top and i like that it's pants so i don't have to wear a skirt or dress when i have to run around and do my concerts and things like that and that is about everything i have in this thrift haul i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know if you want to see more thrift hauls. I don't go shopping for clothes that much, but if you would like for me to do more thrift hauls or more clothing hauls or just more fashion videos in general, let me know and I will do that. Oh, that was a lot of talking. I didn't drink any water and all of that. I just have this iced caramel macchiato from Dunkin' Donuts. Anyways, I'm gonna put all these clothes away and I'm gonna lay in my bed and watch TikToks. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys would like to see and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!